क्वेश्चन ट्वेल्व ऑफ द एक्सरसाइज सेज ए बी सी डी इज अ ट्रिपीजियम इन विच ए बी इज पैरल टू सी डी सो ए बी इज पैरल टू सी डी एंड ए डी इज इक्वल टू बी सी सो द नॉन पैरल साइड्स ए डी एंड बी सी ऑफ द ट्रिपीजियम आर ऑल्सो इक्वल एंड सच अ ट्रिपीजियम इज कॉल्ड एन आइसोसलिस ट्रिपीजियम वी हैव टू शो दिस फोर थिंग्स रिटर्न हेयर लेट्स फोकस ऑन द फर्स्ट टू ऑफ दिस फोर थिंग्स वी हैव टू शो दैट एंगल ए इज इक्वल टू एंगल बी and angle c is equal to angle d and we are given this hint extend ab and draw a line through c parallel to da intersecting ab produced at e so here's the construction for this hint ab has been extended uh, as this ray and through c a line has been drawn that is parallel to da and this line intersects ab produced at e so this is the uh, construction for the hint and this hint will allow us to solve all parts of this problem okay so first we have to prove that angle a and angle b are equal so angle a and angle b these two angles are equal and then we have to prove that angle c and angle d are also equal now to do that i want you to focus on and think about the quadrilateral a d c e so a d c e this quadrilateral what can you say about this quadrilateral what is special about this quadrilateral well in this quadrilateral both pairs of opposite sides are parallel why because ad is parallel to ce by construction we constructed it like that way we constructed ce to be uh this uh, this line to be parallel to da so this is by construction and also the other pair of sides dc and ae are parallel because ab is parallel to dc because these are the parallel sides of the trapezium so if ab is parallel to dc then ae is also parallel to dc because ae is simply ab extended or ab produced so ad is parallel to ce by construction and ae is parallel to dc and this is basically given to us as part of the problem and from these two facts we can conclude that a d c e is a parallelogram because both pairs of opposite sides are parallel and this also means that ad this side ad is equal to ce ad is equal to ce but we are also given that ad is equal to bc ad is equal to bc also and because ad is equal to bc and ad is equal to ce as well now we can conclude that bc and ce are equal so bc and ce are equal so this side bc and this side ce are equal this further means that in triangle bce in triangle bce Uh, because bc and ce are equal the angles opposite these sides must also be equal what are the angles opposite these sides the angle opposite bc is this angle bec and the angle opposite ce is this angle uh, cbe so these two angles are also equal uh, must be equal so we can write in triangle bce uh, angle cbe is equal to angle ce b both these angles are equal and let's assume that both these angles are equal have a measure of x degrees now what we will do is we will write the measures of each of the four angles of the trapezium abcd in terms of x so let's do that so what what do you think will angle a be equal to this angle here well this angle forms a co interior angle pair with uh, the angle at e so angle a plus angle e is equal to 180 degree because this is a pair of co-interior angles this means that angle angle a is 180 degree minus angle e or 180 degree minus x degrees now what what can we say about angle b so angle b this angle here forms a linear pair with this angle here so once again we can write angle b plus uh, angle cbe which is the uh, other angle in the pair this is equal to 180 degree and angle cbe is also equal to x degrees so we have angle b 
also equal to 180 degree minus x degrees. So both angle A and angle B have a measure of 180 degree minus x degrees and from here we can conclude that angle A is equal to angle B. So this proves part 1, angle A is equal to angle B. Now similarly let's find out the measures of angle C and angle D. So angle C is this angle here, angle C of the trapezium. This forms an alternate interior angle pair with uh, angle CBE. So we can write angle C is equal to angle CBE uh, because this is a pair of um, alternate interior angles and this means that angle C is equal to x degrees. And now what is angle D? Well angle D is this angle here and this will be equal to uh, the angle at E because these are opposite angles of the parallelogram. So we can write angle D is equal to angle E and because angle E is also equal to x degrees we have angle D is equal to x degrees. So both angle C and angle D have a measure of x degrees and from here we can conclude that angle C is equal to angle D. So this proves part 2 as well. So we have proven two of the four parts. Now let's go to part 3. So in part 3 we have to prove that triangle ABC is uh, congruent to triangle BAD. Let's complete these two triangles in the figure. So triangle ABC is um, formed by joining the diagonal AC. So we have this triangle ABC on the right side and triangle BAD is formed by joining the diagonal BD. And we have to prove that ABC and BAD are two congruent triangles. So let me highlight uh, these two triangles for you. Uh, as I do that observe the order of the vertices carefully. So triangle ABC is A, B and C. This triangle like this and triangle BAD is starts from B, A and D. This triangle. This is triangle BAD. So these two triangles are the triangles that we have to prove as congruent. So let's compare uh, these two triangles. So in triangle ABC and triangle BAD, what are the corresponding parts which are equal? Well, one of the sides is common, AB is common to both. So we can write AB from triangle ABC and BA from triangle BAD. I'm just following the order of the vertices. So AB is equal to BA. This is common. Also, a, a, B, C from triangle A, B, C, this side is equal to uh, A, D from triangle B, A, D. So B, C is equal to A, D and this is basically given to us. The trapezium is isosceles, so the non-parallel sides are equal. And also in part 1, we proved that the angle at B, so this angle here is equal to the angle at A, so this angle here. So, um, in the in triangle ABC angle ABC is equal to in the other triangle BAD angle BAD and this is basically from part 1. So in, in these two triangles we have two side pairs and an included angle pair equal and this means that the two triangles are congruent. So ABC is congruent um, congruent to triangle BAD by the SAS congruence criterion because we have two side pairs and the included angle pair as equal. So triangle ABC is congruent to triangle BAD that proves part 3 and now in part 4 we have to prove that AC and BD are equal but AC is this side and BD is this side. These are simply the uh, corresponding sides of the two triangles we have proven as congruent. So we can straight away write AC is equal to uh, BD by CPCT by corresponding parts of congruent triangles for these two congruent triangles ABC and BAD. So that proves part 4 and with this we have completed all the four parts of question number 12. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.